Jeremiah chapter 19. Thus saith the Lord, Go and get a potter's earthen vessel, uh, bottle. <clears throat> now remember, he's at the potter's house. And he's spoken to the children of Judah, Israel. And, I don't know, the, the part, wherever the guy said, go back and get yourself a bottle. Would be a clay bottle. That's what earthen is. No real value. And take of the ancients of the people, the old people, elderies, what we would say today, and the ancients of the priests. Now remember, Jeremiah is of the priests. So this would be Jeremiah's group, Jeremiah's clan. Levites. Now remember, all priests are Levites, but not all Levites are priests. And go forth into the valley of the son of Hinnom, which is by the entry of the east gate. We got a direction now. Proclaim the words that I tell you there, thee. The words I tell thee. There goes Jeremiah again, street preaching. In the gate where the people are coming and going. For Proverbs chapter 1 says, go in the place of concord. And I gotta laugh, the people come up to me professing to be Christian and you're turning people away. That's not what Jesus would do. And some of them might say, well, you try to say street preaching is not in the Bible? Oh no, it's not. Okay. I don't think Jeremiah had a little church and if he did have a little church at the East Gate, he'd be the only person there. That's what pastors are afraid of. No one being there. And proclaim these words that I tell thee. <clears throat> you know, you want a congregation of people. The guaranteed way to get a congregation of people is go out and street preach. Now, I didn't say people are going to like you. I'm not going to say that people are going to take an offering for you. But if you want to go where and get a lot of people to hear you preach, get out in the streets. And I say, hear the word of the Lord, O kings of Judah. So this gate is used by the kings. And inhabitants of Jerusalem. Thus saith the Lord of hosts. As hosts of all the creation of God. We'll see that in a moment. The God of Israel. You better have that God of Israel. You better not have the God of Utah. You better not have the God of Af Afghanistan. You surely better not have the God of America. Behold, I will bring evil upon this place. Not a real popular message, is it? The whichsoever hear it. Whoever, whosoever. Look at that whosoever. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Whosoever believes in him. And whosoever's name was not found written in the Lamb's Book of Life. There's a whosoever. You know what that whosoever is? That's everybody. Just counting nobody. And your name before salvation is whosoever. Because at the great white throne judgment. I don't know if I said Joseph C. Christ by acting. The great white throne judgment. Whosoever's not found written in the Lamb's Book of Life. You have no name. That rich man in hell. We know the name of Lazarus. We know the name of Abraham. We didn't know the name of the rich man in hell. Who shows everybody? White, black, yellow, red, green, male, female, young, old, rich, poor. His ear shall tingle. You know, it's interesting. I've been saying, I've been bringing Jeremiah to the church age and to America. And the Bible says about the last days of the church. People should itchy to itchy ears. The message of Jeremiah is, whoa! Why would you preach those harsh words that God is going to destroy us? What do we do wrong? That not been the attitude of Jeremiah? And and what's the message of of the church with the with the itchy ear? God just loves us here. 
get yourself a free book. Get yourself a gift card. Come and watch the entertainers and the performers. Yes. You take care of the grass, God will take care of you. Yes, we're not under the law, but let's run to the book of Malachi to prove to you uh, misapplicating the scriptures on why you should tithe. And that if you tithe, we'll bring a businessman up here to the platform, to the stage, and he'll tell us how his business has been great for God because he tithes. And if you look at my curly teeth and see my yachts and my airplanes and my mansion, and you too can have the power if you buy my book. There's no difference between Jeremiah and the church age. Run the references. You know why a preacher today will not preach on the street? Or because they'll hate me. And they'll hate you. I guarantee it. And then you get a lot of people who love it. And you get a lot of people who don't care. <laughs> because they have forsaken me. The church has forsaken God. Read Revelation 3. We don't need God. We got the bank mortgage. We got the bank loan. We got tax credit. Even though Jesus paid taxes. At one moment in time, Jesus said to Peter, uh, what's bothering you? It's a tax issue. We don't really need to pay the taxes, do we? But so we don't offend them. Go down, catch that fish, get that coin that's in that fish, and pay for us that we don't offend them. And then Jesus summed it up. Well, let me see. The, let me see the money. Well, whose image on it? Well, whose ever picture on it? That's who belongs that coin. And have extreme and extreme that yeah, extreme against this place. Jerusalem. You see verse 3, the happens of Jerusalem. This is the place that is supposed to be where God is supposed to be, and God is not where he's supposed to be, because they have forsaken him. We'll read on. And have burned incense unto other gods. Republican of America. We've got rights. Our pastor, archer of Baptist. Whom neither they nor their fathers have known. Wait, who they had not known? Alright, never mind their fathers, their grandfathers that didn't. They are worshiping gods they don't even know. You know Baptist churches again? I'm going to bring this up. I'm going to bring this up. I'm going to bring it. Repetition. You know Baptist churches don't even know what the S-star is? They don't even know what Tammuz is at the era of their pastors. They are celebrating Valentine's Day, and I showed my daughter another church is doing it, and they celebrate Easter, they're celebrating dead people, and they're celebrating uh, Christmas, and they don't even know what they're worshiping. And, uh, you know, we're, we're going to change trunk or tree you don't even know what Halloween is to give it even a new name. There's supposed to be a new name in glory. Why have you perverted the names of religion and the worship of devils? You know, the Catholic Church has done that. The, the Greeks have done that. The Babylonians have done that. The Egyptians have done that. Mesopotamia has done that. Look at the names. Of Asterisk, Esther, Mary, Sinananis. I'm saying her name wrong, but I apologize. You ain't going to see that name in heaven. And it, it, it's bad that some of the Baptists, the, the names I just said, I, I don't understand those names. We don't have those. Nobody in our church has that name. You better not have those names. The Baptist Church today, I don't care about the Presbyterian, I don't care about them. I, I deal with Baptists. They are honoring God, small G-O-D-S, that they don't even know, and their pastors hide it from them. 
And if they do have a recognition who these gods are, well, we don't care. We like it. Is that not the atmosphere of the book of Jeremiah? Well, we, we don't care what you say, Jeremiah. We like it. And it filled this place with the blood of innocence. We'll see in a moment. We'll see in a moment. Murder. Murder. We'll see in a moment. They have built also the high places of Baal. You see what the high places are? have been all the time now? For Baal. Gotta get closer to Baal. Where is America? Where is the world? High rises. Why don't they build low rises? Why don't they build those buildings deep in the earth? Because they don't want to get closer to hell. They want to get closer to... I heard a preacher one time say about that tower. They're trying to reach the God. Uh-uh. Absolutely, correctly wrong. They're building a tower to reach heaven, not God. That's the same thing NASA's doing. That's the same thing all these space agencies are doing. Trying to reach Mars, who's a god. Trying to reach Venus, who's a goddess. Reaching all these god and goddesses, but not reaching God Almighty. You realize, except for the planet Earth, all our, I almost said presidents, all our planets are named for gods and goddesses. And the fact is, the great civilization of man, they don't even know where the name Earth came from, yet the pages of Genesis chapter 1 tells us. One day, you know, you know why God's going to fold up the Earth and fold up Mother Earth and fold up the heavens? Because those names have been given to fall in God's name. And what are you going to do with America where we've given our public schools, you've given our courtrooms, you've given this nation over to falling gods? And then he turned around and said, God bless America. He can't. He won't. Not we got Mary and Allah and the God where Jesus and Satan are brothers in Utah. And you got the Jehovah Witnesses with Jesus knocking on doors who's not God. You got Mary in every city and every town. She's the stream, mother of God. And you got the friendly Islam. And, and you got the yin yang, which is in your Baptist churches. And you've got Harry, Miss Potter, and all your, your young, growing up children in the Baptist churches. And you got talking vegetables in Baptist churches. But you don't have the Bible open, and you got NIVs, you got NAB, you got foolish F O L L F O O L I H S Bibles in the churches today, and you're going to say, "God bless America." Not the time of Jeremiah. He's not. He said, "Listen, times are coming. Times are coming. Better repent. You better get right." I call the Sunday school teacher a fool for his misinterpretation of the Bible and just absolutely just utter nonsense. Almost nine out of ten people I've talked to about that subject. That pastor is almost like saying, I don't know if I should get rid of you. I don't know, I really hope you just leave. I, I laugh. I laugh. When it comes to the doctrine of the blood of Jesus Christ, I'm out of here. Goodbye. I can deal with the Christmas. Read it on. Baal is being worshipped, the sun god, to burn their sons with fire. For burnt offerings unto Baal. Show me in the book of Leviticus where God said, okay, burn your children. Which I command not, God saying, nor spake it, neither came it unto my mind. That's God. You were not supposed to burn your children. I did not ask your children for a sacrifice. Well, you know, God, Abraham offered Isaac. No, he did not. He offered a goat. God knew that. Look, look at chapter 7. Jeremiah chapter 7. In verse 31. Jeremiah 7, 31 and 32. They have built the high places of top. That means drums. Why drum? So you can beat out the noise of children screaming. That's why. 
which is the valley of the son of Hanan. There it is. To burn their sons and their daughters in the fire. Inside of Molech's belly. A brass god. With mechanical levers, I am told, and they would toss the babies into that stomach, which would burn in fire, and the drums would beat out the sounds. Which I command not, neither came into my heart. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, and shall no more become Tophet, we can read out in a moment, nor the valley of the son of Hinnom, is that the east gate, but the valley of slaughter. They shall bury in Tophet, there till they have no place. You're going to run out of places to bury the people. It's a horrible place. We're going to come to that in a moment. But chapter 19, verse 7. I will make void the council of Judah and Jerusalem in this place. Now, what's a void? Void means empty. What's council? Council means you go sit at somebody's desk. Well, you know, ma'am, sir, I got this plan. Or I got these ideas. I want to buy a house, or I want to buy a car, or I want to marry this woman, or I want to marry this guy. You know what? And they would they would talk to you, and they would tell you the proper things to do, the unproper things to do, what to avoid, what to, I mean, just everything, the do's and the don'ts. Counseling. God says that counseling. I'm making for nothing. Ain't got nothing gonna happen. And I remember with the councils going on in Jude and Jerusalem right now, you got false, you got false prophet, you got false priests, you got false brethren. In the church of today, you got false pastors, you got false brethren, you got false philosophy, you got false scholarship, you got false teaching, you got false Bible. I said, I'll make it all void. There'll be one superior word of God that will be in heaven. But Jesus said, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall never pass away. It ain't going to be the New King James Bible. It ain't going to be the NIV. It ain't going to be the good news for men. It'll be the King James Bible, the Geneva Bible. And you run that family back. The word of God that came out of Antioch, where they were first called Christians. That will be. And I will cause them to fall by the sword before their enemies. War. And by the hands of them that seek their lives, their enemy. You know what the you know what the further attention was for God and Israel, Israel and God. You know what they were looking for in, in Jesus? Which the law prescribed. God says, You do what I tell you to do, you follow my commands, my judgments, and my, everything that God had. He said, I'll protect you, I'll guide you, and your enemies won't hurt you. When you come three times a year before me, your enemies won't desire your land. That's what they're looking for. But they have turned against God. They have forsaken God. They're not listening to God. They're not repenting at the preaching, at the rebuking. And God says, you know what? I'm just going to turn your enemies again. That, that, God said, I'll give you protection. I was like, I'm removing that protection. Because you have not done your part. You have not done what I told you to do. And their carcasses will I give to the meat of the fowls of heaven and the beasts of the earth. Unclean. And it was just really just absolute terror for a Jewish Hebrew to, have to be not buried. And those fowls and those beasts of the earth and the land that will eat dead bodies. We saw a couple places today when we were going to the doctor. We've seen the vultures eating animals inside the road. Every animal that does that is an unclean animal to the Levitical law. That boy that left his father and went end up in the pigsty, that is unclean. Swine are unclean. I will make this city desolate. And he will. A hissing. <laughs> Everyone that passes by shall be astonished at and hiss because of all the plagues thereof. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a horror. I will cause them to eat the flesh of their sons and the flesh. Of, now watch it. See that? See that cannibalism? God says to the Jew, to the Hebrew, which is totally unclean by the law. 
you're going to eat your children. Now watch, and I go back up here to verse number five. Nineteen five. And they had built the high place of the Baal to burn their sons with the fire for a burnt offering to Baal. Okay? Verse 9. I will cause them to eat the flesh of their sons and the flesh of their... You know what they're doing? They're killing their children. You know what? You know what? Galatians 6, 7, though Galatians 6, 7 has, been rent, has not been rent. Be not deceived, God is not mocked. What sort of man sow that you shall also reap? You know what God's giving them for killing their children? Murder. He says you're going to eat your children. And we've seen it illustrated in the Bible. Now let me say something to America. You have been aborting your babies. You're going to pay for it. Now, all right, you know, you've killed your baby. Do you realize your babies that do grow up are now killing you? Do you know that the that the, the, the shelves in the grocery stores are getting very un, they're getting very limited? Uh, you know, we go into the big store, I'm not gonna mention their name, but you know what I'm talking about. And uh, just to mention once again, I, I work grocery stores. I work five or six different grocery stores in my life. I've been a stalker, I've been a cashier, I've been frozen food, I've been dairy, I've been working the center aisles. I've been working, you know, different departments and cleaning the stores. You know, the, the most filled aisle in the grocery store, besides soda, is the, uh, the spaghetti aisle. And you know, we go into a big store. And we've been, we go to a couple of them. You know, that spaghetti aisle is just wiped out, and almost you can't even get the noodles. Never mind the sauce. Telling you, America, that next depression is the, the last depression. They had soup kitchens. <laughs> That's funny. I read the other day Al Capone, <laughs> gas, gangster Al Capone, had soup kitchens for the poor people. A criminal had soup kitchens. You know, cr criminals today have pulpits. You heard me right. The next depression. And this has been said by all the people who know what they're talking about. The next oppression, you're going to have all the money you have, but you ain't going to have the food. There'll be mothers who are going to be, the Lord tell you, there's going to be mothers who are going to eat their children. It's in the Bible. Hey, you've been killing your children. And we've had great criminals who have eaten people. And they made the news. It's going to get to the point that it's going to happen so frequently the news will be, ah, who cares? This isn't the, like, you know, murder is just, unless it's somebody important, we're not going to print it. Who cares? Who cares? That's a shame. I will cause them. God will. God. God. I will cause them. The love of God. God hates to sin. But loves the sinner. And why is he giving them their own children to eat? Explain that to me. God hates the sin, but loves the sinner. Here, mother, father, eat your child. Now, come on, now tell me. Tell me. Well, what did Jesus say? Woe to them that are with child, get suck in those days. They shall, I mean, this is going to come the day for a mother. A mother's love is more strong or supposed to be for a child. Today, not so. That mother's going to have to make a choice. She's either going to feed her baby once the milk is gone. I'm trying to be clean. In order to feed her baby, there's coming a time after the rapture. You're going to have to receive the mark. And if you don't receive the mark, you got a child in your hand. Mommy, I'm hungry. Where's the food, mommy? And there's going to be some Gentiles who's going to help that Jewish mother and child, and they don't even know what they're doing. 
There's going to be some nurses and doctors illegally by the counsel of the Antichrist. They're going to help the ailing, the sick, Jewish, male and female, oh, no other. And they don't even know what they're doing. And there's some Christians that hear what I'm saying right now and they don't even know what I'm talking about. And they shall eat everyone the flesh of his friend. <laughs> oh, in the siege of strangers. Within their enemies, they shall seek their lives and shall straighten them. Oh, we're just great friends. How good of friends we are. Hand me the ketchup. You know, when I grew up as a child, I, I, was, I think the 70s, I think it was. And I, I don't know the full detail. I just read, there was an airplane crash. And the survivors were eat, they were eating the dead bodies. To survive. Keep on teaching evolution in the public schools. Because if that monkey can't get any more bananas, what do you think he's going to get to survive? Another monkey. If another monkey's meat will keep him alive. Hey, that's Darwin. The survival of the fittest. Then thou shalt break the bottle in the sight of the men that go with thee. That bodily tone, verse 1. <laughs> break it. After you preach. He's been holding this, this earthen vessel this entire message. All right, I, I, Isaiah. All right, Jeremiah, you're done with your message. Crash. You know, people are like, what do you do that for? That's the wrong question to ask a preacher. And then thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord host. He just gave them a, 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 a spine tingling, ear twingling method. You are foul. You are wicked. You are going to eat your children. Crash! He goes to the bottom. And there were more people probably got upset at that bottle than they did with the message. Oh, he's polluting. Or that bottle could have been used for something else. Recognize that one? Recognize Judas? Why did she take that 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 that, that, that oil of the alabaster and break it open upon you? It could have been used for the poor. You know, if you went into a church and you grab something at church, and you gave a message to that church to rebuke that church, and you grab something at church, and you took it, and you broke it on the ground. People would be more upset you broke the church materialism than you did with the message. I have been rebuked for accidentally carrying someone's gum on my shoes into a church. And the gum, to find out, was one of the hierarchies of the people of the church. Or in other words, a clique. And they didn't rebuke her being a clique for spitting the gum out wherever she wanted to. Even so will I break this people in this city, Jerusalem, as one breaketh a potter's vessel, which Jeremiah just did. It's in pieces. That it cannot be made whole again. Now you can get the glue and you can put it together, but it's not the same. And it's not going to work the same. And it's not going to last. I don't care what they say about super glue. It has not worked by putting a handle back together on a coffee cup. I've tried it. I don't know how many coffee cups I have broken. I get that glue. I buy that glue. And... I hold it for the 15, 20, 30 seconds, and then when I release it, it falls back. Uh -huh. That didn't work. That didn't work. They cannot be made hold again. They shall bury them in Tophet. We just read that in chapter uh, 7. They shall bury them in Tophet till there be no place to bury them. He said, well, we just read that 
some are some I mean they'll be their bodies will be for the birds and for the for the beasts and the not all of them are gonna be buried, it's gonna be too many. And you're not gonna have much time to bury everybody when the army's gone. You're not gonna have much time to bury when the Antichrist is on the run. And the houses of Jerusalem and the houses of the king of Judah shall be defiled as the place of Tophet. Because of all the houses upon whose roofs, roofs, up on the roof, up on the rooftop, click, 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 here came old fat Saint Nick. Coming down to steal my toys, came in the chimney, I shot him, old boy. Now we got seven reindeer in the freezers, true. Thank you, I don't believe in Santa's truth. Up on the roof. Up on the roof, they they burn incense unto the host of heaven. That host, remember the God of hosts? They're burning incense to what? What's the host? The sun, the moon, the stars. Haley's come, though Haley hasn't been born yet. What do you find in the New Testament about that? It says Peter went up on the roof. They were making dinner. He fell asleep. And then the sheet came down. And God revealed to him, Peter, you're going to the Gentile. Oh no, not me, Lord. Don't, don't. I'm going down to unclean. Peter's up on the rooftop, kind of in a trance, praying to God. Arguing with God. And up on the rooftop, click, 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 they're worshiping everybody but oh God. What's the atmosphere today? Well, I can worship God anywhere. And have poured out drink offerings unto other gods. You know, the, the Catholics and the Protestants offered the drink offerings of the literal blood. The, Luther, uh, uh, the Lutherans and the Catholics believe the same thing. That blood is the literal blood of Jesus Christ. This Lutherans don't believe exactly how it happens as the magic of the Catholic Church. And the Catholics don't believe it's the magic of the Lutheran Church. But both denominations, that is the blood of Jesus Christ we're drinking. I don't know if Lutherans have the, the incense, but I know, remember the Catholic, when they had their little parade of priests going down the aisle, and you, you smell that wicked steam. I still can smell that smell today. Why did they burn it? The other God, to the Baal God, to the Sun God, that there are Baptists on Easter, sunrise service, will go somewhere, and they will worship the, the sun in the east coming up. And we'll, when we get to Ezekiel, Lord willing, God's, eh, it's despicable. That's abominationable. That applies to, you know, well, see, you know, they got a house church. No, they're up on the roof because that's the highest they can get besides the high places. Peter didn't go up on the roof to worship. He went up there just to take a look, you know, just, all right, let me know when dinner's ready. But when they had their house worship, they are inside the house. Look at Utica. He's in the window. And he destructed the service by falling out of the window. But the building has nothing to do with it. All right? We'll look at that in a moment. Then Jeremiah from Tophet, he's still he's street preaching in Tophet. I wonder if he can see Molech. And I wonder if they're operating Molech right now. As Jeremiah is preaching. I wonder if in the background you can hear the drums. Or maybe a radio or a DJ. And you, you gotta know our ministry and other public ministries, other street preaching, I've heard the video where there's music in the background. 
Now that's to drown out the word of God, but the music here is to drown out the, the cries of the children. You know, the Catholic Church had, had in the early ages, when a priest and a nun came together and a baby was, you know, they would kill that baby. Because all the houses upon whom the roofs have burnt incense unto the hosts of heaven and have poured drink offerings unto other gods, then came Jeremiah from Tophet, he leaves Tophet, where the Lord has sent him to prophesy, and stood in the court of the Lord's house. Now he's in the temple and going to preach to the people. You know what Jeremiah did? He walked into another church building and he began to preach. You say, that's ridiculous. You know, Paul went to other synagogues, sat down, heard the message, and somehow they gave an, an, uh, 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 an offer for somebody who wanted to stand up and say something, and Paul promptly stood up and explained to them the scriptures. You know, Paul did that. You know, I did that in the church. A man got, anybody got anything to say? Any question, all that? I raised my hand, I made a statement, and I am not part of that church no more. Go check. Even Jesus spoke in the in the synagogue. Jeremiah is in the Lord's house. See that Lord's house? What happens to that Lord's house? It gets destroyed. Because they wouldn't listen. Now there was one Lord's house. And today the Baptist Church, how many Lord's houses we have? Well, what do you got? God chopped up in many little different pieces? I bet you at the Lord's house here, I bet you all were welcome. Because there were all kinds of gods going on. Remember Jeremiah, we're, we're 19 verses. There were all kinds of gods and all kinds of altars inside the, the temple. And on every street, and every city, and now in every house. Man, we got America right here. And it doesn't, and they're not worshiping the God of, of, of Israel. They're not worshiping the God of the, of the Bible. They're worshiping other God. That's America. I've been in house where they have the incense to the yin yang, to the big fat buffalo Buddha, where they had incense to other God, New Age, to the angels, to the Catholic. I've been in many houses like that. I've been door to door ministry. I've been where, where Christians have told me, oh, I can worship God, in, you know, out in the boat. I can worship God here. And I've talked to people non I can worship God here. And I, I, I've talked to, you know, unsaved and saved people. Well, that belongs in church. <laughs> Not here. And I've seen many places where gods have been in the streets. Gods have been in buildings. Gods have been there. Gods been in houses. Gods in the house. I go like I mentioned these stories. You go there. There's the gods. There's the Esther gods. There's the American fireworks and flag god. And then there's the god of Halloween and all kinds of little stuff like that. And there's all kinds of gods to the, the Christmas. There's even the gods now of the Thanksgiving. There's the gods of, you know, NFL. There's the gods of the NASCAR. There's gods of the major, uh, the, the baseball thing. There's the gods of this. There's the gods of that. There's the God. Here's the God everywhere. God, 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 God. Jeremiah and in America. Hey, they even got a television program in America. And I see there's, there's one in England. American. Idol. And Christians will miss church to make sure that we're going to find out who won American Idol. Your, your small G-O-D-S won. And not the capital G-O-D. If you're going to miss church because American Idol, or whatever the television program is. And when you give, you give more money to your pets and you give to God, well, know where your idol is.
Then came Jeremiah from Tophet, where the Lord had sent him to prophesy, and stood in the court of the Lord's house, and said unto all the people, man, he just moves his ministry. Now he's going to street preach in the temple. I almost did that. Kind of did that. We've been to three Catholic churches, and we did the ministry on the sidewalks. We didn't go inside. But I'll tell you, I've been in Baptist churches, inside the Baptist church. Listen, I try to help people grow. I try to, I try to teach them what the Bible truly said. I, I try, and you know as I am not in those churches no more. That's plural, plural, plural. I didn't get a, oh, everybody, no, I go, hey, listen, hey, you know, you see what the Bible says? Well, do you know what you do? Do you know what you're doing? Do you know where that comes from? you know what the history of that is? you know what the, the pagan or, origins that, that is? you know what the roots are of that? I'm not in those churches no longer. Those Christians don't want to have anything to do with me no longer. That's why I like street preaching. I don't go, they go. And the ones that have to stay there, they're just there for Benjamin Franklin, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson. All the ones that Jesus said, render unto those who... <laughs> Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel. Behold, I will bring upon this city, upon all her towns, all the evil that I have pronounced against it. Look at that. Look, look at that message for the church service of the temple that day. You see why Jeremiah was not popular? You see why Je Jesus walked in there and kicked all the tables over? What would Jesus do? <laughs> you would have me arrested. Didn't they have Jesus arrested? Didn't they evidently have Jesus arrested, gave him a kangaroo court, Turned them over to the authorities, and the authorities said, I find no fault in them. Hey, I find no fault in this man. I'm going to release him. <coughs> I have no I have found no fault. Crucify him. Because we don't want him back at that temple. We don't want him in our streets. We don't want him teaching. And, and Pilate made a statement. Because I know for envy they, they brought that man to me. I mean, a lot of people believe that, that Pilate, I believe honestly with my heart, reading about Pilate, I believe Pilate believed Jesus. He was just a coward. You know, they, they said, they came up to Pilate, they said, you know, you, you know what they said? No, what did they say? Well, he said, I'm going to have to three days and three nights. He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna resurrect himself from the dead. But okay, but we don't want his disciples to come. So we want to put a watch on that tomb, that rock. And Pilate said, "Go ahead, but try and make it as sure as you." Pilate's like, "What's gonna happen? You're not going to stop." Pilate's one of those characters. I, I wonder if he's gonna be in heaven. You know, he fell off the face of the earth, and so did Nebuchadnezzar, by belief. But then again, the chief priests fell off the face of the earth, too, and they died and went to hell. But I don't know. I mean, I, I read about Pilate was going to let him go. Thus saith the Lord, the host of God of Israel, Behold, I bring upon this city, upon all her towns. Why all the towns? Because there's gods and there's altars in every single town, every single street, as there are Baptist churches with their altars. Gotta come up to the altar. Let's have an altar call. And it's funny how those altars have now become stages. And I have pronounced against it. Because they have hardened their necks, that's the Baptist today, that might that they might not hear my words. Now, this is June 24, 
2021. Let me give you a perfect illustration. It is Thursday. Yesterday was Wednesday. The day before that was Tuesday. The day before that was Monday. The day before that was Sunday. They won't hear his words. You know what many churches call Sunday? Father's Day. Now, well, listen, listen, listen. What does the Bible say? Call no man your father. But one is your father. That, that's God. Uh, I completely quote the birth of Matthew. But there's one father in heaven. God the Father. And how many churches Sunday morning? I, I, listen, I know there are people who came up. They came up to me, "Happy Father's Day." Okay, yeah. I wasn't well. <laughs> people saw that I wasn't well. But I mean, how many churches? Besides, it's just Happy Father's Day. But how many churches put the worship into it that you know they had things for Father's Day? They had a Father's Day message and all dedicated to Father. And the Bible says, "What does the Bible say? Call no man your father." And yet Sunday was Father's Day. What does the Bible say? They may not hear the word. And I brought that up to a couple preachers. Well, you know, you're taking it too literal. Don't you call your father father? I said, absolutely never did I. I've always called him dad. Well, what about your children? I said, it's funny. because at the time, I said, my 18-year-old son still calls me daddy. My son is involved in something he shouldn't have been involved in. And when he writes me, he says, daddy. <laughs> I was like, well, Man, my son is over 20 years old and he still calls me daddy. My daughter calls me dad. I'm going dad. I've never heard her call me father. I've never heard my, my son call me father. I've never called, never called my dad father. I don't worship Father's Day. I never gave anything to Mother's Day. I never gave anything to Father's Day. God is my father. But, okay, they might not hear my words. Call no man your father. How many Baptists, I don't care about the Presbyterians, I don't care about the Congregationalists, I don't care about the Jehovah Witnesses, how many Baptist churches under the name of Jesus Christ worshiped and had services dedicated, surrounded to Father's Day? What's the scripture saying? And I say to that, they might not hear my words. Call no man your father. I like to everybody who's a, who's a father, please stand up. And some we got presents for you. Now, if you open your Bibles, I've got a Father's Day message for the fathers. Call no man your father. That they might not hear my words. Have you got it? How simple is that? I got one year in the church I was at it. They were giving away for fathers. I didn't get up. I didn't stand up. I didn't go get a prize. They tried to bring a prize to me. I said, absolutely not. The pastor called me in his office. Why didn't you get Because I'm not worthy to be a father. I have failed my children. I am a sinner. My son is in trouble by his own sin and by my sin and by my failure. My daughter also. I am not worthy to get a And even if I was worthy to get a prize, I don't want your worthless piece of garbage. I want a reward of gold, silver, and precious stone. If I am worthy to be have anything for the dad that I am. I don't want yours. Your hat. I had scriptural hats that were stolen. You're not broken or they sit on my... I got all kinds of knives on my... They go dead. They go dull. And once I can't use them, they just sit on my bureau. I'm too lazy to start. I go buy a new one. Or a plaque. Oh, I need a plaque. I got all kinds of plaques around my house. Very rarely do I look and read them. If I'm going to get any reward, if I am worthy of any reward, I want it from Jesus Christ. 
Now, all those fathers that went that day for Father's Day knew they were going to get a Father's Day message, knew that God was going to honor them through the message of Father, and that their church gives them something for Father's Day, and the mothers that get their flowers from their church, you got your reward. You got your earthly reward. Don't expect one in heaven. Now, pastors are going to hear this message. Preach. You got to hear this message about this idiot. I mean, this style. They're going, oh, he's too radical. He's too. Yeah. Okay, I've heard. Yep. I've heard it. I've been in seven, eight churches. So, that's that cookie.